For joining us for a time of prayer and devotion this morning, uh, we appreciate your presence. Our, we, our focus this week is returning to the first love according to Revelation chapter 2 and verse 4. And today we're going to be praying for zeal for God. And the word zeal, of course, means passion or great energy or enthusiasm. So let's look at what the scripture says, and we'll look at Romans chapter 10, verse 1 to 3, that says, Brothers, my heart's desire and prayer to God for the Israelites is that they may be saved. For I can testify about them that they are zealous for God, but their zeal is not based on knowledge. Verse 3, since they did not know the righteousness that comes from God and sought to establish their own, they did not submit to God's righteousness. And so having a zeal for God means there's a point of submitting, submission to him, to his leadership, to his uh, righteousness. And for you to submit, for you to to have a zeal, for you to have a zeal for some for God means that we have to have a knowledge of who God is. You have you have passion for something because you know what it entails, what it really is. And so today we are going to pray that um, God will give us a knowledge. He will refresh us. He will open our eyes again to truly know who he is, to know his righteousness, to know his character, to know his heart, then we'll have a zeal that is based on knowledge. And let's also look at James, the scripture in James chapter 4 verse 7 that says, submit yourselves to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Come near to God, and he will come near to you. Wash your hands, you sinners, purify your hearts, you double-minded. And so a zeal for God means in both scriptures we are seeing that there's the element of submission. And so we are going to pray that God will help us to be submissive 
to him, to his character, to his nature, to his righteousness, that will not set standard of our own righteousness, that will not choose our own way of doing things. And so would you join me even as we just take time to pray? Our Father and our God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we are in your presence today. We want to know you more. We want to uh, know your heart. We want to know your nature and even your character. But above all, to submit, to be completely yielded to you, O oh God, to accept your lordship, your leadership, O oh God, over our lives. And so, Father, today, even as we pray for a new zeal for you, my Father, that is based on the knowledge of God, that is based on who you truly are, that is based on the standard that you set for us. My God, our hearts are open this morning. Our hearts are open to you, our God, asking that, my God, you may speak to us once again, asking that you may reach to us once again, you may speak you may open our ears, O oh Lord God, to you once again. You may open our eyes, O oh God. Give us a vision, my God, to see things the way you see them, to hear you clearly, O oh mighty God, that we will not set standards, O oh mighty Father, of our own, my God. We know that you are a righteous God, you are a holy God, and having a zeal for you means we'll, we, we will need to have a zeal for the things that you love, O oh mighty God. And so this morning, our Father, we first and foremost want to ask for forgiveness for where we have turned away from the true love which is Christ Jesus my God. I pray that you may forgive us. Return us back to you my Father where we have forsaken the cross, where we have forsaken your way of doing things, where we have forsaken intimacy and, and fellowship with you, trading it with activity my God at family level, my Father at individual levels. My God I pray that you may forgive us today. My God, you tell us that your mercies are new this every morning. And today, Lord God, we tap into your mercies that are new for each one of us, O oh God, asking that you may forgive us, my God. May you restore us to you in a very new way today, my Father. I also want to pray, my God, that where sin has stood in our way, my God, in, 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 uh, where sin has stood between you and us, Almighty Father, may you forgive us, Almighty God. You are righteousness, my Father. You set the standard for righteousness, my God. You are holy, and you call us to be holy, my Father. I pray that you may cleanse our hands today, my God. Purify our hearts, my Father. Cleanse us once again, O King of all glory, that we may stand before you to, this morning as forgiveness given almighty God. Father, I also want to pray that you may forgive us for our ignorance, oh God. Forgive us for our ignorance, my God, where we have thought that doing things for you equates to um, us knowing you, my God. I pray that you may forgive us. Forgive our ignorance give us knowledge from above to know how to worship you my god to even know how to read your word to even know how to respond oh god to even know how to 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 live out our, our, our lives that are pleasing to you my father oh god we ask that you may restore us once again to you and lord god according to your word in james chapter 4 where you're calling us to submit ourselves to you my father we want to submit to your Lordship again, once, once again, our God. We submit ourselves, we submit our families, we submit, O oh God, to you. We submit to the righteousness of God, which is in Christ Jesus. We submit to your way, Almighty oh Father, your way that is higher than ours, O oh God. I pray that we will submit to you, my God. We want to submit and to surrender, to yield totally and completely to you, our God asking that, Lord God, you may guide us, that we will follow you, my God. We know you to be a faithful God, to be a God who's consistent in your character and nature, oh God. Father, we submit to you to this morning. And I pray, King of all glory, that you will then help us to resist the devil and 
temptation almighty god help us my god to resist to resist the way of the enemy oh god the lies of the enemy the the, the whispers of the enemy almighty god that makes us to stumble and to fall into temptation and to sin almighty god to fall short of your glory father i pray that you're gonna help us to resist oh god and you're telling us that come near that we may draw near to you to come near to you and you will draw near to us oh what a loving father you are that you do not let us keep moving toward you but you meet us oh god that as we come to you father you come to us and you meet us i pray king of all glory that we will be yielded we will be open we will be obedient to moving toward you oh god to to yielding to you to following you oh god to drawing near to you our father that you may draw near to us oh god And this morning Father God uh, we are aware and I just want to pray for anyone who could have been drawn away because of the pressures of life because of the trouble and and the persev- and and the persecutions of life almighty God I pray that Lord God you may also reach to the ones who are weak in their faith this morning you may reach to the ones who are struggling to even pray oh God then my father let your spirit be upo- be poured afresh upon the almighty god strengthen our inner man oh god even during this time of difficulty my father that we will set our eyes on new christ jesus we will not only look at the circumstances of what are happening around us but we will look to you jesus christ and draw our hope from you our god and so i pray my god for anyone who is even unable to to pray for themselves almighty god father may you remember them may you remember that that person almighty god and just draw them near to you my father i pray that we will do our part oh god we will we will draw near we will come to you our father and our god for you promise that then you will draw near to us almighty god thank you because father this morning we stand on your faithfulness we have seen you restore us we have seen you uh, fight for us we have seen you oh god sustain us and we know that you are faithful to keep your word that never changes oh god your word that is constant your word that is truly true your word that is our living bread almighty father i pray that god today you will honor your your word and draw near to us even as we draw near to you in the name of jesus christ and you also tell us to wash our hands to purify our hearts father god i pray that you may purify our hearts the heart is deceitful above all father forgive us you hate deceit you hate sin you hate dirty hands oh god forgive us today we pray forgive us today and that even as we now desire to have a zeal for you my god we will just know this kind of god and worship you in truth and in spirit my god we will know you for who you truly are for who you truly are my god a loving father a faithful god a powerful god a holy god who doesn't like sin oh mighty father i pray the king of all glory we will just know these attributes of you we will know you truly my god and that we will have then a zeal for you not doing things oh mighty father not not doing things and replacing them for, for 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 the intimacy that you desire to have with us holy spirit we thank you because you are helping us today you will help us even in our walk oh mighty god that truly father we will be a people who are changed by you a people who love you so so much a people who draw our identity draw our values from you our king of glory father i thank you because you are you are doing it once again for your church you're doing it once again for every believer oh god to your glory and honor and praise how we bless you our god and today we indeed acknowledge that you are lord over all you are god like no other you are the true and the living god you are yahweh the god of israel the god of abraham and jacob the god of moses oh god you're the one that we worship today 
the one who has promised to walk with us and to never leave us nor forsake us. You are the one that we pray to today, the one who is the living God, the cornerstone, Father. We trust you today and we honor you, our Father, and we bless you because we know that you will refresh us once again and you will draw near to us as we draw near to you. How we bless you, our God, and we honor you for you have heard us and you will answer us according to your plans, according to your word, and according to your desires for us, oh God. We bless you and we honor you for this. We have prayed, believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. We thank you for joining us for this time of prayer. And may you continue doing your part in drawing near to God because he will surely draw near to you. We may share the words of the grace and now may the grace of, the, of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen and amen. Have a wonderful day. Have a blessed week ahead. May God bless you. We'll see you here tomorrow. God bless. You take, you take what the enemy meant for evil and you turn it for good. You turn it for good. You take Time. Ah.